Today is 9 February 2023. It has been 100 days since APS was made compulsory for students in India who wanted to pursue their higher education in Germany. And it hasn't been a smooth ride since then. The process which was supposed to take 4 weeks is now taking months to complete and even the consulate of Mumbai has declared that the procedure might take up to 4 months and that students might not be able to join for the summer semester of 2023. I'm going to show you a spreadsheet of almost 269 students who have applied for the APS certificate with all their submission dates. Before we get into that, this is not an official spreadsheet from the APS authority. This is owned by students who are collecting their data in one place and we don't know how frequently it is being updated. Regardless, you can see that it has taken some students 80 plus days from the day they submitted their documents to the APS office to the day they physically received their certificate by courier. If you feel 80 days is bad, take a look at this. There are some cases where it's taking almost two months just to confirm the payment. One of our team members actually applied for the APS certificate and from his personal experience, there is no contact from APS after they confirm your payment up until you receive the verification email of your documents. Yes, there are some students who have received call to confirm some documents or to provide additional details. But apart from that, students are completely left in the dark. Right now, there are two things which you can do, which might decrease the time taken for your verification. Emphasis on might. The first one being online payments. Since the last time we covered this topic, there are two modes of payments which you can use to pay the APS fee. First one being offline payments, which includes checks, demand drafts, etc. And second being the online payments using CC Avenue, using debit cards, credit cards, etc. Offline payments are usually taking a lot of time because you'll transfer the amount, then the APS will receive the documents, then they'll follow up with the bank and then they'll send you an email to clearly see the rabbit hole. That's why it would be better if you can do online payments through CC Avenue right at the time of registration to reduce your time of verification. The second is filling all the details. You remember students getting calls to provide additional documents. You can avoid that if you fill all the details even if they are optional. For example, in the bachelor's section, put your college login ID and password if it is provided by the college and your professor's email. The professor can be anyone from your college with a position of authority like HOD. Just make sure you fill everything accurately and carefully and double check before submitting the form. Even if you do everything right, there's still no saying that your verification will take less time. The silver lining here is that students who applied late October or November have started receiving their APS certificates since January. So if you are someone who applied, let's say late November or December, fingers crossed, you might be days away from receiving your certificate in mail in February. If you're planning for the winter semester and you're quite sure that Germany is your final decision, then apply for the certificate right away. All in all, with the last minute introduction of such an important document and a poor communication channel between the students and the authorities and the hundreds of bugs and problems on the website, we share the same sentiment as you. We have tried contacting the German embassy for an update or a comment or at least an interview, but they have left us on scene. Look APS India, we understand that thousands of students applied in a short amount of time, but what did you expect? Countless students have to postpone their plans of studying in Germany just because they can't get an APS certificate and thus they can't get a visa. APS should have been waived off for summer semester 2023 and should have been implemented with proper planning and workforce. The purpose of making this video was to make you guys aware of the things you should expect when you're applying for the APS certificate. As of yet, it is a struggle and I hope the APS office actually figures things out and rectifies the situation. We'll let you know if there are any updates in this situation and if you have any doubts, let us know in the comments below and we'll try our best to answer them. All the best and we'll see you in the next video.